pineapples are boiling and I am going to turn them off. I'm going to start adding them to the regular salsa. I'm letting some juice come along with them, but not all the juice. See how good the potato masher did on them? I cooked a lot of the juice out of them. So it's more of a concentrated liquid, which would kind of make the sauce of and the salsa maybe a little too sweet. so you can see what's going on. Getting these stirred in. I will also get this back up to a boil before I put it, start putting it into my wide mouth jars. going to pour it in a strainer. And what you can do with this juice, you can save it, add it to something else, maybe a smoothie, or you can taste this and add it to it to see if it is sweet enough for you. I'm going to get this boiling and we will be back to fill the jars. Now, this is my pineapple salsa. It is boiling again and I'm going to start filling my wide mouth jars. I ended up back to about a half of a ring full, so it should definitely fill up most of these jars. Now, I'm using the wide mouth jars on my pineapple salsa just to help me. Whenever I look at them, I'll know what's what. I know the wide mouth is pineapple and the regular is just wide mouth. Uh, once again, I'm only filling them up to the bottom of this lip. It's the part that sticks out the most. Let's get you back in the camera frame here. It's the part that sticks out the most. It's about a half inch. I'll be cleaning the rims off with my paper towel with white vinegar on them. And again, I'm using two different types of lids. the ball and I just finger tight them. Those are the easiest ones. And the tattler, which are the reusable ones, set that on there and I put my ring finger right here and I just did it like this, which didn't feel like it was tight, so I'm untightening it and I'm going to do it again. Voila! So I'll fill the rest of these back up and they'll be going in the water bath canner for 25 minutes. So with the extra pineapple juice, I actually ended up using all of it once I tasted this and determined that um, it might have needed a little bit more of a sweetness. So 
when you do yours, take that in consideration if you want them sweet or not so sweet. So I came up a little short on this jar, so I took some from the other ones and just filled it up the best I could. Um, I probably should have maybe added a little bit of extra tomatoes to this recipe since I was doubling it and um, it was actually a combination of about three or four different recipes that I was using, so it's my own little creation. I guess we'll see how well it turns out. These jars are really, really hot. I am using my pressure canner as a water bath canner today. This could hold nine comfortably regular mouth jars. So I've got those in. I'm going to put my little shelf here. I've already put in my splash of vinegar. Now remember with this, so I'm loading it, we want to have one to two inches, I always do at least two, over the jars for a water bath canner. My jars are still pretty hot, and of course I also mixed my different types of lids. Now with my wide mouth jars, I can get eight. I'll finish filling this up with water. And I'm splashing it nicely everywhere. Now, how do I determine, if I don't have a tape measure, how much water is above the jars? I use my index finger. Each end knuckle is about an inch. So right now I don't even have an inch of water over it. So it's going to take another jug of water more than likely. It usually takes four to fill this up. And then I'm going to just put my water bath canning lid on there and get it started. So we'll check back to see how things are. Hey, hey, so I'm back. I finished making the salsa and all of our cans sealed. This is our regular. It was in the regular mouth jars. And this is our pineapple salsa. Looking forward to trying this. Now I'm gonna let this sit for about two weeks so all the flavors can marry together is what they call it. Now I promised you I'd give you the recipe um, at the end of this, so here it goes. I have my list. So this will make 16 pints if you do it the way I did it in the video. I got eight regular pints and I got eight pineapple wide mouth pints. So I did 16 cups of tomatoes, six cups of peppers. I did a mix of hot and sweet. If you like it hotter, so just add more heat to it. More hot peppers, that is. Um, I used my sweet peppers and also jalapeno peppers. I did seven cups of onions. I mixed yellow and I mixed Vidalia's together. I did six cloves of garlic, two cups of white vinegar, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, and four tablespoons of cilantro. Now I filled that all, put it all in jars of my regular salsa and my regular mouth jars. And then I chopped up two cans. I smashed them up with a table smasher, remember that, or potato smasher. I did two cans of pineapple. They were 20 ounces each. Smashed those, those up and then I dumped them in with the remaining salsa, mixed them together, got them hot, cooked them down a little bit more and then I filled them up for my wide mouth jars. So you have the recipe, enjoy, let me know what you think of it and remember if you like my content, like, share and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, Charlie B signing out. Be back with a new recipe and a new video.